Anyala, remember. Uh -huh. I am Commodore Kolaole Okuntuga, the commander of the Nigerian Navy ship Beecroft, a Papa Lagos. I'm here this morning to hand over some suspects with exhibits to the Nigerian Police Legal State Command under the leadership of the Commission of Police, CP Unwa. These men were apprehended somewhere at a Tolu community at Ibetuleki, Lagos State. What actually happened was that a distress call was received from that community that gunshots were received or were heard within the community. Sporadic gunshots. So, in our usual way, the men from Ford Operating Base, Lekki, responded to this crisis, I mean, distress call. And on getting to the waterfront, they met four men dressed in black polo t shirts with Tantita inscribed on the back. These men were trying to forcefully collect an outboard engine, 300 horsepower outboard engine, from a local. In fact, they were screaming, thief, 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 when the men got there. They were able to apprehend them and retrieve the engine. It was after this arrest, the men now realized that these four individuals are a part of a group escorting a wooden boat with two fiber boats. These four men by the shore side beckoned on the two flying boats with the wooden boats to come over. All of a sudden, the two boats halted courses and took off. So my question is, why did they take off? It was then my men now went to the wooden boats and we noticed 11 1,000 liters GP tanks with petroleum product suspected to be stolen crude oil. So we now apprehended these guys. And today we are here to hand over the suspects and the exhibit to the appropriate prosecuting agency, which is the Nigerian Police Force Legal State Command, under the leadership of Commissioner of Police, Uunwa, to unravel the circumstances, the gunshots that took place in that place, the men that were in that other boat that at large, even though I know that men are up after them and we are surely going to fish them out. And this is just to encourage law-abiding citizens, particularly coastal communities, that the security agencies will not relent towards making sure the environment is conducive for them to go about their legitimate businesses and to continue to do what they need to do in accordance with the law. It also reinforces the synergy between the security agencies, particularly in legal states, that we will continue to work assiduously together and will not leave any gap for any individual or group of individual to have their way to carry out nefarious activities. This is just the beginning. And we're going to tell them that enough is enough of all this mess. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen of the press. And uh, I think this statement has been clearly made. And uh, in this instance, two clear statements. One, that in Lagos State, the security architecture is such that it's firmly built on strong synergy between the police, the military, the intelligence community, 
and other uh, state uh, security agencies. And that is a clear statement to the criminals that as far as legal state uh, internal security space is concerned, they have in us a very strong united force to respond and commonly deal with any group, network, individuals that might wish to test our common will. The will remains strong. The synergy remains strong. Secondly, it's also a clear statement on the depth of the uh, increasing trust in the capacity of the Nigeria police to undertake professionally guided, rule of law guided investigative activities. In this case, it won't be different. We'll take in the suspects, we'll take in the exhibits, and we'll work with uh, my brother colleague to get to the root of this and to ensure that justice is done so that a clear statement will be made to uh, waterborne criminals that Lagos remains a no-go area for them. So I want to thank uh, Commodore Ubuntuga for the confidence and for the excellent operational breakthrough that uh, has been recorded since, uh, I mean, under his command. I wish to encourage him to sustain it because, of course, the safer the waterways are for us in Lagos, the safer the mainland will also be. So we'll continue to depend on your expertise, your trust and your cooperation in order to attain our common mandate of uh, keeping Lagos Shan assured of their safety. Thank you.